<laughs> hey! Did y'all see this? Hey, the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea. And There's the future. All right, so what we're trying to do is train them to learn not to be scared of water. In case you ever wonder what it's like here at night. Hey folks, Lester here. I am sitting with, uh, well, here's Fiona. I'm hanging out with Fiona. Oh boy, here comes Millie. And uh, today I have a gallon pump sprayer and I'm going to go out with this permethrin and spray down the goats and the little goat enclosure, the little goat, some parts of their pasture. I don't know exactly what I'm doing because the writing on this thing is way too small to read, but uh, I'm just going with what I saw from Brienne's video. Where are we going to go up? And this is going to do mosquitoes, bugs, and flies, mites. Pickles, I need you to turn, buddy. And I can put this on their face. It says it's perfectly safe. That's my niece. She did a video where she sprayed all of her goats, and it's supposed to treat stuff like just all kinds of stuff. And I thought, you know what, Bree? Since you already bought the stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do my animals as well. So I'm going out today to spray some goats. I'm not letting the puppies go yet. I just got them... Uh, vaccinated yesterday and so i don't want to expose them to any of the other animals around here hey and you're not going to drink the permethrin either permethrin 10 percent. you're not drinking permethrin that's for darn sure Jeez. all right so i'm only doing a gallon so i found the proper ratio to mix everything up and uh, what i have to do is try to find a snack treat that I can use to pull all the goats into the little house area before I start spraying them because they're not gonna want this sprayed all over them. I can promise you that. I brought snacks with me. That would be their favorite snack right there. All right, I hear the rebels coming. I'm gonna try to get them drawn inside of here. Well, hello, little ones. Come on over here. Snacks, there's a lot of snacks in here. Oh man. All right, now's my chance, Lester. Come here, Lester. Now is your chance to get back. Now for chance, get the spray down. Woo wee! There we go. Everybody get some. Uh uh, you're not leaving. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You guys. <laughs> hey! Did y'all see that? He jumped over the whole fence. I got him good though. I got him good. All right, so what I did was I sprayed down a lot of the areas where I noticed them laying around a lot. Uh, this is a spot over here on the corner where they like to come over here at night, especially. There's a really bright light up there. And uh, that's the one that's provided by the power company. The cows will hang out and sleep right over here along with the horse and donkeys. And these goats, they actually prefer to be over here instead of inside their little house. So they'll go inside the house on a, you know, when, it, when it's rainy, but they prefer to sleep over here. So I've seen them here several times. We even put a camera up over here so I can watch them at night, watch them sleep, make sure that they're all safe, which is kind of neat. Anyway, I got the area all sprayed down. It's supposed to treat ticks and lice and all kinds of different things that can live in the soil or live in the grass. And I got them sprayed down. So they're gonna be good for a while. They're just mad at me right now. I know I did not look near as cool in my prep of the spray as what Brienne did. I'll play a little clip of that now. That's a shame too, you know, because I'm actually wearing my dance like no one is watching shirt that I was gifted. And uh, in saying so, I'm gonna probably go ahead and, since I'm wearing this shirt anyway, I might as well go ahead and dance like no one's watching, secretly hoping that a bunch of y'all will actually watch. And I'll probably try to battle it out again with old Jason at Cog Hill. 
I haven't been able to beat that guy yet, but I know at some point I'm gonna find a dance where I can beat him. Let me go ahead and just say this real fast. Um, Y'all know that whenever Jason and I do something silly or goofy, we're not really competing. You know, this dance, it's not really a dance off. We're just two guys who were close to the same age who just enjoy dancing and having fun. But more than anything else, we love bringing you a smile. And so I have many times said that my page is for entertainment purposes only. I want to entertain you. What can I say? I want to see you happy. I want to make you feel good. And so I don't mind making a fool of myself if it'll do that. Because I, I'm not a fool. I'm not an idiot. I know that if there was ever a true dance battle, number one, you would never catch a 50-year-old man in a dance battle. Number two, I would never go up against or stand a chance against someone as gifted as Jason in dancing. Now, I'd arm wrestle the guy in a heartbeat. I would arm wrestle. If you want to compete, Jason, I will arm wrestle you in a heartbeat. Look at these guns. Listen, I'm not even flexing. I'm not even flexing. I mean, I can, I, I can, I can. Don't make me flex. Do not make me start flexing. But uh, if it comes to when it comes to dancing, I I like to dance. I've always been a dancer, but I'm not a good dancer. Like I've always said, I have my three moves, three good moves, and that's all I've ever needed to get. I, never mind. Dance like no one is watching. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below. My bully boys blow. <laughs> Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. <laughs> Look how good that looks. I could drink that. Maybe I will. So look who I brought with me to work today. Bring your kid to work day. And you can play with them. And I said, uh, while I'm working, you're gonna play with these puppies. We're trying to socialize them. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. Why did you pick up uh, Fiona and not Millie? Yes. And you can give me your honest answer. Why did you pick up Fiona and not Millie? I don't know. You like Fiona better? No. I do. <laughs> I do. I don't know why. No, Is don't. that sad that you pick one dog over another one? But I, can, look, can everyone be honest with each other? I'm honest with you, and you can be honest with us. But don't we have our favorite pets? Yeah. You have your favorite pets? Yeah. So I brought Lex out to the barn for the first time, and I've told him that you are the future of Longhorn Lesters. But I'm not the future. You are the future. But I'm not. Anyway, I, uh, I'm going to show him how everything is done out here, how we clean up and how we feed up and all of those things. And then we're going to have a challenge. I'm going to call all of the cows and all of the horses, and I'm curious, who do you think will be the first one to get here? And who will be the last one? So, you know, there's five in the cow family. There's Tex, Santana, his wife. We have, uh, 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 oh my gosh, Pearl, Gracie, and Santoro. That's the cows. And then out of the horse, we have one horse, Dixie, and one donkey, uh, which is Beverly. Who will be first? Who will be last? Uh. Everyone else in the comments, you decide who. Who will be first? Who will be last? I'm going to call them. You ready? Here we go. All right, so here comes the horse and the donkey. Lex, I would not get in their way if I was you. <laughs> Let's go, babies. Come on, guys. All right, so obviously the horse and donkey are the fastest. Now, hold on. You haven't seen anything yet because we still got cows will come running as soon as they get. I think the first cow is going to be the little baby. You think the baby's going to be first? Yeah. Okay, look, Lex, by the road. Look, see them? Oh, boy, here they come. I see Tex, Santiana, Pearl, Gracie, and Santoro. Here comes a whole group of them. Oh, oh no, they're starting to run. They're starting to come this way. It's a stampede. Lex is a stampede. Look at them. I'm not worried. We're on the floor with it. We're fine. Look at the cows, though, Lex. Not fine. Not me, Ellie. See, don't you want to be the future, Lex? No, I don't. Yes, you do. This is awesome. Oh, no. Look. 
Pearl, who is pregnant, is the last one, Lex. All right, let's get to the barn fast. Y'all, hold on. Can you get back there, Lex? All right, here we go. Let's go. Hold on, Lex. What was that? What was that noise? All right, don't get up. All right, they'll, they know what to do here. They know what to do. They'll all find their favorite stall, and we can't tell who will go where. Where are the lions? They're coming. Look right over the hill. Look over the hill. Oh, there They're like a herd of buffalo. Ah. Where are you going? I'm away. Son, stay with me. You're the future. There's the future. There's the future. Come on, guys. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. <laughs> guys, sorry, but that udder, that bag is about to burst. Pearl, I'm looking at that bag, girl. This here would be a special bag report. This here is a special bag report in world news. This is a bag report. Pearl, what have you got going on back there, young lady? Look at that, guys. That is a nice bag. <laughs> Look at that. Pearl, baby, how much longer? We're excited. We're so excited. I want to get a little peek. Sometimes you can tell. Okay, everyone's in a stall. Everyone's eating good. And uh, Pearl, be sweet to daddy. I'm just trying to get a nice bag report for everybody who loves you so much. Pearl's trying to be so modest. Pearl, at some point, baby, you just gotta shake what mama gave you and be happy with it. All right, so y'all can see that the teats themselves are starting to swell. So now not only has milk filled the udder, but now the teats are starting, each of the teats are starting to swell. So if Pearl would let me grab one, I believe we would get cholesterol or milk out of there. But of course she's not gonna let, not, <laughs> she ain't gonna let me do that, are you? You ain't gonna let me touch you? No, I don't blame you. She's a sweet young lady and we have to respect her boundaries. Y'all, you don't just go grab a girl's teats, people, sheesh. <sighs> they don't even know how much fun it is, that Longhorn Lester's. Because it's only their day number two, and they're so scared. They're so scared to walk around with me. They don't know it's fun here. Oh, oh I know. There's my Fiona. There's my Fiona. Here's my Millie Willie. There's my Millie Silly Willie. Oh. <laughs> they just don't know how much fun it is here. Oh, I love Daddy. Love with Daddy. Oh, I love Daddy's hand. I love that grass. That's good grass, huh? In the shade. We're in the shade, y'all. We're in the shade. Oh, where are my kisses? <gasps> Don't scratch, Daddy's. No scratches. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting some good loving today. Tell me that's not the cutest thing. It is the cutest thing ever. All right, so what we're trying to do is train them to learn not to be scared of water. We know they have some food aggressions, <laughs> and I think they get that from having, oh, babe, she's getting me, she's on my back. <laughs> she's getting me all wet. I think they have some food aggressions. They probably got that from being in a, a large litter, and uh, I don't know how we're gonna ever, I, I, we, you might know more than I know, but how do you stop some of that stuff? Big dogs, and they need a lot of nutrition to grow, clearly, so I think that it's harder for oh baby, baby. that makes but she that's really good though we really want them not to be afraid of things around here because yeah. as a no they can't be afraid of things no. and so i was telling jamie that i noticed today that um she's tired she actually wants to lay down in the water this whenever time. i drove up and i began to you know holler for them they both turned over on their backs and both of them peed and right. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I mean, it made me feel like, you know, if they were happy to see me, they would run up to me, but not 
lay over on their backs and both pee. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of, I don't know if that's a bad sign of some kind of emotional. <gasps> I just heard someone bark. Come over here. What is she barking at my feet? Yeah. Sweetie. I, I don't know. I've never had a dog do that. I've also never had dogs that were scared to follow. Baby. Like in the beginning, 24 hours here, they did not want to follow anyone. No, these dogs do not want to follow us. We have to take them places. But this is a good sign to see at least, you know, Fiona is sitting here in the water. And that, that's a good sign also that she's over there playing with my feet and barking because I want them to be vocal. Yeah. So not, you know, this is the thing I was telling Jamie, not only do I want them to protect our animals, but also just be a presence here. Yeah. So even though we have a gate, you know, at the end of the road and, you know, we have the camera set up. I mean, look, we're on camera right now. <laughs> We got the camera set up. I just want the dogs to be a Millie, presence. Get over here. Especially if they end up being 120 pound, 150 oh gosh, pound dogs. They can't be 100 plus pound dogs hiding in the corner. They cannot be 100 pound dogs who roll over and start pissing themselves if someone Aww. if someone shows up unannounced. We need them to come out of their spots. In case you ever wonder what it's like here at night. So all of the cows like to come up and sleep under this bright light. And what's cute, but what's also sad, is what's going on right across the fence over here. So I have to find a way to get better lighting because, well, maybe because of right now we don't have the ostriches here, that the goats prefer to sleep right here along this fence, which is fine. But it wouldn't be fine if it was raining, if it was cold. They like to be in the bright light. And so the problem is, this is the only light that the light, that the power company will install because that's the only transformer. And they, they will only install the lights on transformer poles. So what I've done is I've installed some lights up around the barn. But those only you know, produce light for around the barn. The goat's house is over there and the little solar lights that I hooked up will only come on and they stay dim, but they don't get bright enough for these guys to feel safe. I feel like we got some good lighting on the building. The big part of the building is, has pretty good lighting. Even though we have power here, those are both solar powered. But I might could run just as far as the little goat shed is over there. You see the goat shed from here. I'm and it's just semi illuminated. I might could run power that far myself. I don't know much about running power. I'd rather have someone come out and do it who knows what they're doing. But I don't know anybody in this area who does that. The neat thing is there's the closest power. That's where the power comes into the big building. So it might be as easy as running a breaker and running a line from right there. And that would give us some power out there into the little goat house, which might, you know, make them go ahead and sleep there instead of over here alongside the fence. But you can definitely see how bright it is here compared to those little solar lights that don't do much of anything. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.